road goes ever on and on. Down from the door where it began. Now far ahead the road has gone. Hello everyone and welcome to the 12th anniversary live stream here on twitch.tv slash stream, youtube.com slash lord of the rings slash live and facebook.com slash lotro. I am Lotro's community manager Cordovan and I will be with you until the dark hours of midnight eastern tonight. It's true. I did break out the blazer. How's it going everyone? Happy 12th anniversary, The Lord of the Rings Online. Uh, we're going to be here for the next 12 hours. We're just going to be kind of hanging out in the live world. So I'll be on my official Cordovan character. Not, not breaking the servers. Not breaking the servers. And uh, probably largely going alphabetical. Um, got 12 servers, got 12 hours. Well, you know what that means. Except I'm probably going to take an hour for dinner, so... Uh-huh. So just one of the servers I'm just not going to visit. No, no, no. I'll, I'll make sure I get all 12 by the time I hit the dark hour of midnight. Um, so. What was I going to say? Yeah. So largely alphabetical, but um, because I know some of the European servers in particular have, you know, they're about six hours ahead of us, I may slightly go out of alphabetical order so that I'm not hitting some of the European worlds on their overnights, particularly since this particular anniversary is on a Wednesday. means that I don't want to, to leave our poor Europeans. I care about their economies. I want them to be productive workers and not sleep uh, because they were watching a Lord of the Rings live stream until the dark hour of midnight. I don't know, Hoppa Joel, if the sleigh bell has any other function than dinging when you kill something. I just acquired one of those myself yesterday and have not had an opportunity to uh, check it out yet. 
Uh, so um, this came up both in, I believe, Twitch chat and also hello everyone over on Facebook and hello everyone over on YouTube. Uh, so a couple of things I want to follow up on right away. Flow 23 flow. You said, uh, there's a thread in the forum said reverted morale on the legendary server. And that has to deal with, um, a discussion that's happening on the Lotro forums regarding, uh, a decrease in overall morale and whether or not it's made, uh, particularly, you know, some content too easy. I believe that may have been part of a rebalancing effort that, you know, was listed in the release notes, but it also sounds like if we have further work to do, then, then we should do that work. Um, however, just skimming the thread, I, I see about as uh, at least se a couple of people who are saying, no, don't change it. I like it the way it is. More morale doesn't mean more challenging or whatever. So that's all I really have to say at this point about it, other than I've seen it, uh, we've seen it, and uh, we'll take a look and make any changes as necessary. Uh, the next one I wanted to bring out... Oh, uh, I have pinged the QA people to let them know about the confusion over the anniversary event on the legendary worlds of Anor and Ithil. Apparently, you can speak to Waldo, but some of the... Some or all or something like that of the letters are not pickable from the tree. Now, here's... Here's the long and winding road on that one. Um, originally, I had, I had thought, heard that we were unable to do the anniversary event on the Legendary Worlds due to a whole bunch of its content not being accessible currently in the Legendary Worlds. And so I believe I answered as such sometime in early April here on a live stream and uh, disappointed some folks saying, oh my god, why aren't you bringing the, at least the level 50 version to the Legendary Worlds? And so I believe that that's what the intention was supposed to have happened, is that the anniversary event, the level kind of 50 version, should be available on the Legendary Worlds, although I'm also hearing as of this morning on the forums and such that perhaps there's some kind of progression issues uh, that we need to look into. So let's just kind of take a pause on that. Maybe I was right after all. Um, and there was just maybe some internal messaging confusion or what have you. But either way, I will hopefully get an answer on that one today and uh, get be able to get that to you. I've thought about the best order being EU, Legendary US, although I think I'm actually going to go Legendary EU US. That's kind of what I've been thinking. Because the Legendary worlds have both uh, European, they have a worldwide audience. Honestly, all of our servers have a worldwide audience, but, but those two in particular maybe um, are a little more uh, geographically agnostic. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Volsunga Gaming. Uh, yeah. The other thing is it could well be that there's a bug out there. But either way, I have not had time to interface with the systems team to look into the uh, what's going on there. And I'm not sure that they have an answer to give me yet. But as soon as I get an answer, I will do so. Okay. This guy looks like Ozzy Osbourne. Yeah! No, I don't look like Ozzy Osbourne. I don't think so. I will cut my hair someday. <laughs> uh, so, uh, John, if I recall, that Everon trailer was a labor of love on the part of someone from the actually I don't know the story I don't know if that was huge sound or if that was us that did that video I can't remember anymore sorry John from Facebook can we get the golem that was displayed as a screensaver oh, I probably could actually maybe there's a way I can make that happen uh, yeah, thank you so much uh, Gilbert over on Facebook 
About how many people on average are still playing this game? All of them. All right, uh, let me move back to the other chat rooms. Eventually, I'm like I said, I'm going to log in and do some other stuff. I just wanted, I knew I was going to get hit up with some stuff right away here. A little bit later on today, we are going to have some visits from members of the Lotro development team. I would expect perhaps uh, to see uh, Severlin pay us a visit somewhere on the 4 o'clock hour, so probably either 4 or 4.30, depending on how things go. I know that he's got a meeting at 3 that lasts about an hour-ish. And I think his intention is to swing by the room here after that. So uh, later this afternoon, um, we should have Sev on. Uh, I'm going to see if I can rope in a couple other members of the team to, to swing by and say hello. I think we'll have all of you stop by uh, for a little while as well. Overall, I have to admit this is going to be a little bit of a more chill anniversary event. Um we don't really have anything major to announce right now. All of our stuff is kind of out, out there uh, in terms of what we're working on and things because of the producer's letter and Vale. And you know Minus Morgul is going to be an expansion, but it's kind of too early to talk about it. And we're not really getting into lore on Vale. Um, but we have some things we can talk about, and, and we will do that. But it may be a little more chill of a live stream, frankly, because we, we just don't quite have the... Um, like we don't have Mordor on the horizon, for example, or something like that. Um, so it's just, we've kind of been thinking, it's like, well, what do we really have to talk about that people don't know about? Um, and there are a few things that are maybe a little too early to really talk about, but we don't, I think a lot of what we are working on, you guys are all, guys and gals are all well aware of. So, so there you go. If I can get Vastin in, I will, no promises. I don't know if I can get him in front of a camera here today but we'll see what i can do yeah yes uh, metallic maniac on the legendary servers the legendary item xp being affected by the story pace we are aware of that one as well we will have to take a look at that <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, I don't know the answer to that one, Zellerod. Sorry. It was a collab video between Chance and you folks. Yeah, I was, so I was tempted to say, okay, so if they didn't do the video part of it, although maybe capturing the video of the musicians performing, I'm going to guess that that was a guy named Todd uh, Demel, our art director, who put that video together. Uh, and that was a labor of love rather than an official thing. So in terms of uh, perhaps the extra quality on it or whatever, a lot of that is just due to the fact that there is no deadline per se and a lot of, a lot of long hours, I think, at home pouring over that video on his part. Don't say anything that makes Made of Lion sad. Oh, I am sure to say something. New comments. Uh, so hopefully we'll have an update on the status of 64-bit. Uh, maybe when we sit down with Sev this afternoon, we can ask about that. From my perspective, my understanding is it's it's on the latter end of Palantir testing and will some point pretty soon here be coming to Bullroar, but I don't think we've formally scheduled internally a date for that yet. Uh, that is my understanding on the status of 64-bit client. But I've been busy the last, really, four or five days, so it could be something new on that. And we'll have an opportunity to ask Sev later today. Will the video be on YouTube? I believe that video is on YouTube. I... Oh, that's actually a very good question. Was that on our channel or was that on Huge Sound Records' channel? I'm not sure. And I don't know whether that channel is still active or not. I'll have to take a look on that uh, at some point. Hey, all right, Duero Scholar. I knew this. I Well, I didn't know. I was hopeful that this was going to happen. 
And let me, double, let me double check my own internal figures if I can get them. Indeed, we have officially crossed one million views. <laughs> I am a golden god. I am now in charge of Twitch. I think that's how it works. So yes, one million views. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, this is all thanks, of course, not so much to this guy, but to all the other people on Lotra Stream who stream throughout the week and uh, bring in their audiences and their community. The whole purpose of Lotra Stream is to serve as kind of a mixtape slash greatest hits slash discovery zone uh, to find great Lord of the Rings online streamers across Twitch. That's the core of what Lotro Stream's about. It has some other purposes of kind of serving as an official uh, communication channel and things like that. But at its core, that is its its primary purpose. If it does nothing else, uh, I want it to do that. So, um, and mo so that means most of that those million views did not come from me, although I think that a tenth anniversary live stream certainly didn't hurt. Uh, but thanks to you and all the other streamers. So uh, congratulations, everyone. Congratulations. Very, very cool. We don't have a million followers, however. So give us a follow or elf. Don't let me bring back Sauron. I'll do it. No, I won't. Alright, uh, before we head out in game, let me do a thing. How about... I'm trying to find my list of points. Make sure I've got the current ones up and active. All right, uh, let's do a raffle for, or a giveaway rather, for uh, 100 Lotro points. Let me make sure I can, how do I do this? Um, give away reset. Okay. All right, uh, so if you type exclamation point raffle in Twitch chat. Uh, you are eligible for uh, a random drawing to for 100 Lotro points. I am sorry, Facebookians and YouTubers. Uh, due to various kind of regulations and, and policies that Facebook has, I can't do chat giveaways like that. Uh, and on YouTube, we don't have a good mechanism to do random drawings. Hopefully YouTube will get on their on the game on that or I just will learn about what's already out there um, Although I've looked and I haven't found anything and um, On Facebook, that's really not much we can do about that. So if you want to get in on those raffles, you're gonna have to go to Twitch But otherwise if you're just kind of hanging out or whatever that's cool uh, I'm gonna be in game on the like I said the various worlds uh, dropping some things now one of the things that I run into before I go and do this is a performance kind of concern so what will happen uh, if I'm not careful is I'm going to basically lag out the instance and we don't like that and it makes for a really poor experience for just about everybody uh, so it's just not really a very good time. And so what I'm going to probably have to do is a little bit of chase around the worlds. This is what I've learned. I'll pop somewhere, and then as that instance starts to get too full or we start to run into issues, I'm going to have to, like, pop out and pop in somewhere, generally without notice, because if I tell you where I'm going next, then we're simply going to move the problem to a different location. Uh, so what I've learned in the past, and it's particularly so on Lord of the Rings Online, because of the large um, population and that sort of thing, um, that <laughs> Stuart Cordovan sucks name claim. That's right. I did do that. I do that on purpose because uh, it's funny. 
Uh, and also because I know someone else is going to take it. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> God, that's hilarious. I forgot about that. I didn't even notice it. I'm, it's just such a part of my pattern here that at this point I just go, whatever. Uh, but anyway... Um, So I'm going to kind of have to run around without notice. That means if you are in-game and you're really looking forward to being guaranteed the opportunity to hang out and get something, I'm sorry. That may not be what happens. Uh, I think the reality is we're all kind of in the same boat here trying to make the best of it as we can. But uh, no promises. And uh, if you... If you lag out if you get some bad experiences we'll do our best but I like I said I can't you know I can't um promise anything but we'll see um hopefully it should should work out pretty good and I'll drop a few kind of like festival items and uh some some kind of fun stuff and things like that uh so hopefully it should be pretty good Uh, Grayson asking about an internship in the fall. I we do not have an inter internship in the fall. Um, I believe there may be a few coming up this summer though. So if you're in the area and you are looking for like a, a games industry internship, we may have something available in the relatively near future. I think maybe engineering and art. Right now, you can't click on the scrolls hanging from the party tree. I'm aware of this. Uh, we are working on this. Uh, I have. I don't have the answer as to what's going on. Um, Mark, I logged in last night expecting to get a 12-year gift. Was this some consumable fireworks? Am I missing something, or is this just a weak gift year? I guess uh, it was a... I mean, that is the gift. Sorry if it's maybe... Uh, maybe not quite what you want it to be. Uh, just a second, what am I doing here? I am looking up commands for events. Now, how great is this? So first off, I'm going to, uh, let's see, show you the first thing I can also do to move around. And then that's going to be, now I actually have, this year I'm slightly smarter about it. Uh, by putting a thing in front of the window. Now, I don't think it really matters, because you really can't do much. Oops. How about, there we go. That's the one jetpack. <laughs> Is that pretty fun? Yeah. Let's see if I can... Uh, I'm just going to pop that in my... <laughs> yeah. So, yes, uh, this is. Uh, thank you. Welcome to the 12th anniversary live stream. Uh, today, we'll be amusing it myself uh, throughout the day. Uh, that's really the main point of uh, what we're doing here today. more commands here. This is the Tundra Cub. So most of the things that I'm able to give away uh, are items that have been really kind of pre-cleared uh, both on marketing and development and that. They tend to be just kind of mild little cosmetic items, uh, some festival skills and things like that are the kinds of things that I can uh, give away in Lotro. 
Ideally, we'd like to have even a little bit more, but we're not quite there yet. But I do have like some kind of instruments and things like that I can give away. Um, and a few other cool things too. One of the other things I'm going to do, I think, on each of the servers is probably head into the housing zones a little bit as well. And drop a few best house trophies. I'm not going to go nuts with them because I want those trophies to remain um, valuable. But... Um, But I'll do a few on particularly nice looking homes. Otherwise, I may also have an opportunity to get a well-met title from me. This is particularly true if you are over on Twitch. And we'll do a few festival skills. And I always want to be a little careful on that because it can kind of cause some, or consumables rather. Uh, some of this stuff can cause more trouble than others. But hey, let's cause trouble and see what actually happens here. I know I can do flower petals. Oops. What does this one actually do? I don't think I know what the black silk glove actually does. Gonna, maybe I'll just have to grab one myself and use it. Let's see. Cannot use... Oh, you have to use it on someone else, huh? Oh, okay. You have to tag other people. Well, I'm not going to do that on someone else. Uh, I will probably try to avoid that one then. How about... I like the fire breathing potion too. That's a pretty fun one. <laughs> Give me the jetpack. <laughs> Sorry. There's actually two jetpacks. Uh, one of it, inside of the kind of internal naming structure of it, it's called the one jetpack and then the two jetpack. Uh, I guess it was kind of a goofy play on words or what have you. Should be good enough for now. And then let me... There we go. Maybe I'll do a few mobs here. Let's, let's see what might be... Actually, I could do a few fireworks here. Oh, actually, let me do... What is the new firework? I don't know if I'm going to be able to find this or not. Let's see. Here we go. Let me try that one on my own first before I drop it in the game world just to make sure it's okay. Alright, so this in particular leads me to believe that we probably have a bug on that eagle's firework but i'm gonna i'll know more after i get off the show today really and, and have an opportunity to sit and talk to somebody uh, on the team who can provide an answer to me as to what the heck 
What's going on with this firework? Because uh, it's marked as permanent with a 10 second duration when I created on this character. Rather than a stack of five. All right, let me uh, head to our chat rooms quick, see what's going on. Oh, is the Eagle Firework available at the Anniversary Barter and it's just the gift? Uh, that's the five stack of consumables? Okay, okay, maybe that's what's going on. Oh, I always have an inventory full of stuff. Uh, do I think I can hit 500 viewers like I did in the DDO Anniversary event stream? I am tempted to say probably not. Uh, not that... Only because during the DDO one that you referenced, we had a lot of news and stuff to talk about, too. We just don't have as much to talk about uh, this particular anniversary in Lotro. Uh, not that we don't have anything, but we just don't have as much. Alright, let me drop a few of the summer fireworks, just in case those are gone at this point. Oh, let me turn on my combat sounds here. Okay, they are. Maybe Haglob is not the right person to be fighting. Uh, how about... Does this work? Yep, okay, good. Let me do a different one. Maybe one that's a little bit easier. How about... How about a Balrog? No. Um, no. How about bonus? Buddy alert! Oh, I've got a great idea. I think. I think I have the greatest idea ever. First off, feel the bunnies. Whoops. Now let's see how many of these I can do when I'm on a jetpack. Ah, not many. It doesn't really want to work very well. All right. Uh, well, let me try. How about... Well, since we're looking at the Misty Mountains here, let's give this one a shot. Ill-advised on a low-level character. Yeah, well, so unfortunately most of my... Let me see what I can do here. Surely I've got some kind of low level mob I can spawn. How about basic goblin? Let's try this one. Okay, nice and easy. totally wipe this whole group. I could totally destroy this server with a Balrog, but I will not do it. For I'm a slightly... I'm not evil? I'm not evil. What else do I got? How about...
Huh, some of the characters don't want to shrink. I wonder what's up with that. What is up with that? I guess the half elves don't want to shrink. Interesting. Okay, well, I did not know that. We have a bug. Of course, I don't think they're really meant to. Oh, maybe they are shrinking. It's just very slight. find the short folks and make them big. Hit back to chat real quick. <laughs> Those poor goblets, yep. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Mark. I really appreciate that. I am currently on Honor. People are going to have no clue who I am. Yeah, well, that may be true, but whatever. I could be a bear, too. Or if I can do the grow on me. Yeah, I can! Haha! <laughs> I'm the king of the world! Accurate fjording. <laughs> nice. Yeah, Ruka, I will probably be doing that again. Uh, at least maybe on a few of the PvP servers. I'll, I'll swing by for a few minutes. Give us a challenge. You can take the troll. I'm not opposed. That works for me, man. We'll give this a shot. See how that works. Uh, let us do... Goblin troll. Raid. Raid. Well, let's try this. Let's try the Burr's Ghost. See how they can handle that. Cool, they can handle Burr's Ghost pretty good. It looks like that might be the right mob. Not too weak like the Goblin, but not too strong. Take a few seconds to beat down. That's about what you want for this kind of thing. Another thing I can do is let's, uh, oops, let me pop on this camera and I do have the admin camera with me today so let me try to grab a quick screenshot for the social media perhaps oops all right let me let me do something not very nice how about Since we like bears. <laughs> Look at all those effects. Jeepers, crikey. 
Hey, that worked out great. All right, so let me uh, let me move over. Create another one. So the way this camera works, for those who are curious, is I can move independently when it's detached to like position characters and sound as we need to. And then I use the numpad to actually control. Now it's a little non-intuitive because it was really created as an admin tool rather than, or a development tool rather than say a public facing thing. It's just sort of being used for this purpose because it's awesome. So it's like seven is down, nine is up, eight, five, four, six, two actually swings you back as well. Um, and then one and three, I don't want to use it because it can be hard to get back to where you want to be. Uh, but it'll actually tilt the camera if you need it to. So. Oh, what the heck? Let's give this a shot. Where did he go? Alright, now I got him targeted. We should be fine. I can always get to him. Uh, super excited for the burglar update and the anniversary. Yep, so we do have uh, the... Basically the final wrapper quest and the anniversary event itself. Now the anniversary event will be coming back. Um, but it'll probably not be expanded, at least immediately. I think the team wants to do a few other things uh, yet. And so we're telling the story of sort of the, the final chapter, as it were, for this sort of party tree thing. And uh, the burglar update. Hopefully you guys and uh, gals like it okay. All right, so I did... I will see if, Pin if Pinion and Lansu can stop by. I will have them. So not really different from the normal camera. That's true, except it's just not detached where you are. It's not anchored to your particular avatar. <laughs> More cub pets? Okay, I can do that here. The unwelcome mat is in... Hard item to get? Is that true? Well, how do you get the unwelcome mat? Now the spring is closer. Are you thinking about cutting your hair for a bit? Probably not. Uh, I can't give away things that are connected to events that I don't have the ability to um, distribute. Sorry. So I can't just be like, well, let me just give out anniversary stuff. So I can't do that. Uh, okay, before I... Do a couple more gifts. Give him a raid, boss. Nice. Suddenly there are lizard chicken strips. I like it. All right. Uh, let me head and do a couple of those things that were asked for. I had a request for a tundra cub, I think, in Spirit Bear. I'll do a few more of those. And I'll do a couple of the spirit bears. <laughs> Alright, uh, before, let me see if I can actually do this in-game. I'd like to be able to, I'm just not quite sure how. Let me see if I can call something up here. Nope. Um. 
So I'm trying to see if I can find the well-met title and drop some of that in game. I just... Our search is pretty rudimentary. Mm. Nope, unfortunately I'm not finding it. Sorry. I can't do the uh, well met title. Uh, and this, I can't figure out how to get it for you. So I will work on that uh, later. But for now, let us uh, let me actually wave goodbye to folks. say <laughs> done there all right so first let me go to This will actually be a useful place to use this backpack. <laughs> Up my room speed a little bit here. Is anybody here? Maybe I'm in a weird instance. Let me uh, port back then. See how I'm hitching there? That's because I'm running too fast for the game world. Good enough, I'll just go to Bree. Do it the formal way. Uh, Stefan, we are looking into the question of functionality of uh, the event on the legendary worlds. Uh, as soon as I have more to pass along, though, I will. Um, but I, at the moment, I do not. Okay. See, I'm actually running too fast for the stuff to spawn. Would you do something for me? Are you looking for something, friend? There we go. Now I'm in an actual instance with houses, I believe. And Darren.
I don't believe I have the ability to go. Oh, can I? I'm the king of the world. We shall see if anyone actually is able to pick this one up. And uh, by the way, I know I've got... Let's do a last call on that raffle, by the way. Um, I'm going to be picking uh, a winner here in just a second. Hey, there we go. Oh, someone else is just here to, to steal it, huh? Yeah. I wonder if I could put it in their housing chest. Oh, nope, I just can't do that. All right, well, I will just uh, create one then in the home, and we'll see if, if they happen to catch it. A little on the toasty side in this uh, room today. I have a feeling it's going to be kind of a warm day. Let me, um, let's see. It's actually one o'clock here, so let me actually bop on out then for now. And I don't know that I'm actually going to do a lot more of that housing thing. It's not quite working out as well as I was hoping it would be. It's because I'm wearing a blazer. Yeah, I also have lights, and I think it's just, it's that time of the year where it's like hot, and then it's cold, and then it's hot, and then it's cold. Uh, and so that's just kind of where we are. <laughs> All right, so uh, in a couple minutes, I'm going to take just a couple minute stretch break. You can expect that pretty much every hour, I believe, and getting up and, and taking care of myself uh, like that. Otherwise, it just kills me. Uh, but let me do a Mubrat raffle. <laughs> Metaphors. Uh huh. Here we go. Give away close. Man, oh, pause. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. Loriella, congratulations there. Let me uh, get that to your. Scroll, 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 scroll. Right. There you go. All right, so I'm going to take just a couple minute break to walk around and all that sort of thing. Uh, I'll uh, be back in just a little bit uh, with more. So have fun.
All right, everyone. Hello and welcome back to the 12th anniversary live stream here on twitch.tv slash Lotro stream, youtube.com slash Lord of the Rings slash live and facebook.com slash Lotro. Thanks for being here. I will be here until midnight Eastern tonight, hanging out in the live game world, sometimes on a regular character, sometimes on a main character. We'll probably have a few sit downs here throughout the afternoon. We're just kind of here chilling out, celebrating 12 years of the Lord of the Rings Online. If you're just checking this out now and you're a returning player or might be a returning player, you can download the game for free at lotro.com. Uh, we will actually talk, I think, a little bit later on about our new Mac OS client, which is a, a Wine client, a Mac uh, compatible client. Uh, I think we'll also try to answer a little bit more about the 64-bit client uh, and the status of it a little bit later on this afternoon. Uh, for now, though, I did, during this break, have a chance to sit down and chat a bit with Darth Celtic. So I wanted to give you the status of the anniversary event on the Legendary Worlds. So right now, there is a bug on Anor and Ithil, which is preventing progression of the anniversary, the low level version of the anniversary event. Apparently when certain flags are set to prevent it from being on the, uh, the offering the high level versions or areas that you can't get to on the legendary worlds is causing some progression issues. Uh, We've got Tiber and Darth Celtics uh, looking into it right now and uh, should hopefully have some more information to pass along sooner rather than later on that, so. So that's the, the latest. Um, like I said, I, I took a few minutes uh, longer than normal on my break to get that one answered because I knew uh, that was one that was going to come up frequently throughout the afternoon today. So that is that is the sitch. We're working on it. Hopefully we'll have a fix in there and uh, it will hopefully be working on Legendary. Lutra now supports mac and cheese nor more wine. I... I don't know why it's called that, but. Uh, but anyway, there is, so for those who actually want to check it out right now, if you are a Mac user, uh, we've recently released a wine client. And it just involves a one-time re-download of the game client. And for many Mac users, they're reporting a better experience. Uh, those who are maybe struggling a little bit are particularly older Macs, maybe, I don't want to say end of life, but I bet Apple would probably consider them the end of life um, versions of Macs. Um, have, I've seen a few issues reported, but most, most Mac users have reported a better experience. And you can uh, download that now uh, for free. There's a link to it on Lotro.com, the forums. And we'll be rolling that out in the near future to all the formal download links and that. Um, right now, it's basically optional if you want to check it out now. It won't be required until update 24 because uh, the Veils of Anduin uh, require it. Uh, I don't know, Valsunga Gaming On, whether or not we'll be extending the anniversary event on the Legendary Worlds. I mean, it's... We'll see. We'll see what we end up being able to do with that. So... Oh, I get it. Wine is not an emulator, huh? Okay. Uh, any idea why there is not a new steed in the 2019 anniversary event? It was really a matter of allocating resources, and uh, the decision was made, um, you know, rightly or wrongly, but the decision was made that to focus that development time and item creation time on the Veils of Anduin. Anduin. And uh, so we just weren't able to, to fit it into the schedule this year. Copy and pasting is a little weird in wine. Okay. All right. Wow. You guys all know you're all, you guys are way techier than I. So why are you asking me questions? You know the answers to this stuff. It's true. My cat will be very upset when I get home at one o'clock this morning. She'll be like, wait a second. How many hours has it been since you fed me?
I would love to visit people's houses to show on stream. I'm not sure that I really have a great method to do that at the moment, but we'll see. Why the stealth nerf with yesterday's update? I am not aware of a stealth nerf in yesterday's update. If you're talking about the morale issue on enemies, though, that was already discussed. All right, let me check out uh, YouTube. Was the sleigh bell meant to be level one? Um, I don't know. I'd have to ask. I don't think so. You look like a noob player. I thought you were a pro at least. No, I'm a noob. All right, and uh, then finally, head over to Facebook. Follow up to my question earlier about just getting consumable fireworks as the anniversary gift. Logged in today and got more the 12 year frame in the bell. So it is more than you thought. Uh, that's true. Uh, uh, I think some people count those frames and some people don't. Uh, it's true the bill is is new too, and I'll I'll show that off here in just probably a little bit. Uh, nothing about a PV MP update, sorry. <laughs> when you're watching Cordovan play and keep attempting to move his camera with your own mouse, I know, right? I do the same thing. Uh, and the rest of this is uh, repeats of legendary server anniversary event questions and other things, and I've already answered that. So, I uh, know Flow Twenty Three. I I focused on the legendary server thing in those ten minutes rather than say, the morale changes, uh, which I do not believe QA has really had an opportunity to um, fully investigate. The bell, what a joke. Okay. All right, so uh, before I move on, let me see what other kind of video I have to play. I've, I found a few kind of neat neat ones. So this, uh, actually, let me head back to my camera real quick. Uh, just real quick here. So I'm going to play a video. This is has old um logos and things in it because it dates back from the old turbine warner brothers days um but because moria just recently hit the legendary worlds i thought it might be a cool time to look back upon the original release of the minds of moria here and uh, take a look at the original dev diary uh, that we have for it so without further ado here we go Hi, I'm Harry Teasley. I'm art director for Lord of the Rings Online, and we'd like to talk to you today about creating the world for the Minds of Moria expansion. Moria is really the inspiration for every dungeon adventure in every game since the advent of RPGs, and the chance to bring it to life has been a real thrill. Consulting the books was a high priority to find every specific description Tolkien gave, and have that show through to deliver a Moria that fans of Tolkien can believe in. Moria is huge. We put a lot of effort into expanding our game engine to be able to deliver on the goals for the most epic indoor adventure ever. Moria really is the biggest, grandest dungeon space ever, and this was reflected in the efforts of our artists and world designers. For world design, we are challenged to think about our spaces not just as terrain, but also as walls, ceilings, pitfalls, and hallways. We've created a network of tunnels, mines, and caves that look and feel more vast than anything we've created to date, Another new addition is our new player-based lighting system. In certain areas of Moria, we've intentionally kept lighting low and allowed players to have his or her own light. This puts the players in control of what they can see and what they can't see. Players with DX10 will be treated to additional capabilities and features based around this system. The Minds of Moria will be the greatest indoor space anyone has seen in a game, giving players something that they've only imagined up until now. The chance to experience the greatest dungeon adventure 
from the most beloved fantasy epic ever. We can't wait. See you in Moria. Rated Mute count one. Shoot. And here I thought I'd be all set. I would never make that mistake again. Uh, all right. So, uh, sorry about that. Yeah, what I was going to say is um, I've been chatting with Druid's Fire about how we can better uh, manage that housing uh, giveaway thing um, when I'm visiting the worlds. I think we've got a better plan in place. So, uh, I'll have more info on that in a little bit. I also do have a 100 Locho Point giveaway going on in Twitch chat right now. Uh, so if you head on over to twitch.tv slash stream and type exclamation point raffle into chat, it will be there. Uh, what else should I mention? I was just in Calendon. I will switch the camera in just a little bit. I'm, uh... Yeah, let's see if this works. All right. All right. There we go. All right. Looks like I am... All good to go here. Hey, Bloodborne. Oh, by the way, let's do a shout out. If you like Lotro points, you should probably be checking out Bloodborne's channel. That's twitch.tv slash Bloodborne. I think he said... Sorry, Blood. Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday? Tuesday, Wednesday, Sunday? You can clarify that in chat. And you are giving away 1,550 Lotro Point codes, which ain't tiny. So that's uh, very cool if you're looking for that. Do the devs play music aloud in the office while they work? No. Uh, we tend to be all about the headphones around here. Occasionally, when I'm testing the speakers in this particular room, I'll play a really great song by, um... Takeo Ishii? It's the, the polka chicken dance one. I love it. <laughs> it's a professional radio training. So see, that's the thing, though. In some ways, you're right, because I'm used to having a light just right over my head from when I did radio days. So you always knew whether you were on or not. On top of that, the sound would change in the studio when the mic was on, so you could always tell when your mic was on or not. But I did mute the mic while that video was playing, because I had to, like, cough or something, so. All right, uh, well, I don't know if anyone's actually able to get to me. Maybe they're not. I am on Ithil. And I am in the last homely house. Oh, there we go. 
Yeah, I kind of like to be on the porch because it seemed like a, a chill place out of the way. The last porch. After making the one ring, Sauron decided to branch out. Make the one porch. The one door. The one bed. It's the best porch ever. I uh, know I'm going to be on all the servers. Why was I told off, warned by a GM for promoting a giveaway from my Twitch, yet Bloodborne is fine to do it, and even your promoting his giveaways, I was told it was against terms of service. So, I don't know anything about in-game activity. We do not allow, typically, for uh, promotional things and say, the Instance Finder, like any of the LFM-type panels. So maybe that's what was going on, or maybe you were spamming world chat. Uh, which would be another reason why we would not allow it. If you, however, are doing a giveaway on your channel and you would like to get in touch directly with me, I would be happy to let the Locher audience know about that through Twitter, Facebook, that kind of thing. So perhaps what you're talking about is an in-game issue rather than a community issue per se. I cannot list the times I'll be on the 12 servers because it depends on when I get there. Um, oh, you were giving away a first stage weapon of their choice. That might be something completely different as well. I don't know. It depends on what you're giving away, I suppose, as well. Uh, Chris, over on Facebook, does Lotro have guilds? Uh, it does. They're called kinships. And uh, they've got some nice permission sets and things like that. So, uh, Chris, if you want to find out more, I believe we even have a little section on kinships on the website. <laughs> hey, Made Alliance. Oh, and also, hey, Darth Celtics. Nice to see you. Uh, how can you join the Lotro stream team? I'm a beta player and streamed it for five years now. Someone is saying my mic is off again? No? Okay. <clears throat> uh, so anyway, how do you get on Lotro Stream? Is you really just get in touch with me, either through Twitch or through the forums. You can send a private message to Cordovan. Just send me a link to your Twitch channel. What I'll do is I'll take a look at it. And if it seems like a good fit for Lotro Stream, which... Generally is uh, is fairly lax. Uh, I wouldn't say, well, maybe lax isn't the right word. It's pretty open. Uh, I try to not be too much of a gatekeeper and instead prefer to just kind of let people uh, stream if they have a basic level of confidence and a passion enough to do it on a kind of consistent basis like that. I tend to find, that, you know, rather than doing a lot of gatekeeping, I'd rather give someone a shot and then if it's just really not working out... Um, perhaps take care of that then. But for the most part, that hasn't been an issue. I tend to find that, similar to podcasting, um, you know, how do you know that you're good enough to podcast? I tend to find that if you actually get to the process of making the content and doing it more than once, it tends to weed out those who aren't truly passionate enough for it. Because the stuff is hard work, or can be hard work. To do lots of streaming like that. So I guess that's kind of a long way to short. Just get in touch with me. Get me a link to your uh, Twitch channel. I'll take a look at it. If I if I can um, bring you on. If the schedule works. If the content's decent enough. If your quality bar is high enough. We'll probably add you to the schedule. Only real basic regulations are kind of what you'd expect, you know, since this is the official Lotro channel, we can't have, um, you know, a lot of swearing and things like that, so. Keg of Doom. All right.
Let's see if we can get a visit in game from someone. Let me see. How about... There we go. Hello, Gandalf. How you doing? Okay. Sorry, I just had to type something real quick. Uh, let me do a couple other fun things. How about uh, first mate's hat and eye patch? These are just kind of little cosmetic, piratey cosmetic items. Pretty fun. It looks like uh, Gandalf doesn't want to uh, have his staff with him. Okay. Let's see if this one's any better. Nope, doesn't like his staff for whatever reason. Hmm. All right. Thanks, F Felnul. We're we're glad you like the Osgiliath Instance Cluster and Throne of the Dread Terror. We'd love to hopefully hit that quality bar all the time for you. Usually I go to the starter areas. Okay, well, I'll have to do that. So I, I, I'm sorry, Volt Sunga. I, I don't actually know your channel, and I've never seen your content. So it, it is unlikely that I've personally taken action against your in-game account due to the criticism on your YouTube channel. Sorry, bud. I just haven't seen it. At least I don't think so. Depends what your name is, I guess. But no, I think I think if I'm just kind of reading between the lines of what you said, but I have to assume that your giveaway issue was you were spamming world chat uh, and not doing a Twitch channel giveaway, but rather doing some kind of raffle or in-game thing for an item uh, or something like that, uh, which you know a different set applies for that kind of stuff. Like I said, if you if you had reached out to me on YouTube or Twitter or something like that and said, hey. Doing a giveaway on my Twitch channel, or actually just email it to lotro at sandingstonegames.com. 
if you had just emailed and said, hey, I got this going on, what do you think? Uh, I could either let you know or, or help support you and certainly get the word out about it, too. So. All right. Real quick before I move on, let me see what else we got. No Moors map there. No, not an Ithel. <laughs> I will, though. I will get to the Moors, I promise. Let's see. I'm going to head to breathe on. Just so that more people can visit. And how nice is that, huh? Don't you wish you had one of those? Yep. There we go. <laughs> Got the big spider? Yeah. He asked for a few Lotra points to give away for an in game event. You answered four weeks later or something like that. Oh, that's a bummer. Uh, that's a real bummer. I'm sorry if I missed that. I'm usually pretty good about getting uh, things to community giveaways like that. Sorry, in this particular case, I uh, failed you. <laughs> safe word that's pretty funny for the uh, for the legendary worlds I hope I'm not killing everyone's uh, you know don't die totals I probably am all right um what was I gonna look up I was gonna look up Oh yeah, let's see if I can do any of these. Where did I put it? Hmm. Ah, here we go, cool. Um, Cool. Let me see if this works. If it does, oh, failed. Could not split item. Nope. Yep, unfortunately that's not going to work. So that's fine. I'll have to I'll have to chill out and see what we're going to do here. I'll let me let me spawn a couple of mobs for the fine folks on Ithel. Warning, and just in case. How about oh, 
Hell Thief is going to destroy him. Sorry. Wrong one. Let me take care of that one. Uh, and instead do... How about... How about this guy? This guy might be a little easier. Yeah. A little bit, anyway. Okay. Alright, sorry. Um, I, I don't usually talk about mod stuff in chat, but I, I need you guys, a couple of people in chat need to chill out or, or face some unfortunate uh, timeout slash ban. I'm sorry that you're unhappy and that I've let you down. <clears throat> That Saruman can't be killed? Okay. That's right. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> then not for a rampage in Bree. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, Volsunga, if, if I've seen your video or not, I don't actually know who you are, and I don't know what video you're talking about. So feel free to ping me on Twitter or whatever with the link, and I'd be happy to check out your video. Uh, I don't know if I've seen it or not. I see lots of videos. But it, I, it's not ringing a bell to me. I'm sorry. All right. <clears throat> <laughs> 
<laughs> so many white fur carpets suddenly in the auction house. Nice. All right, so uh, for... Let me do... going to do one wall rug here and we'll see if I can do this or not. Nicely done, folks. You did it! Thanks, Brunley. Why don't you try to do a raid T1, which is easy? Rift, for example. I could do that. Yeah. I mean, I can't die on this character, so there's nothing to worry about there. Shower you with pets. Uh, well, I can't do too many pets, but I could do some more tundra cubs and uh, spirit bears. So let me do that real quick before, while I'm picking up a couple of homes to see. This is a joke item. I haven't given it out much because it's kind of dumb, but it's called the Supreme Legendary Gift Box. And all it does is give out a lump of coal. I think the joke probably wears pretty thin pretty quick. <laughs> Someone, Fevera, doesn't have a pet. Where is Fevera? I don't see that person. All right. 
I'm going to head to someone's house who pinged me on Ithil to say, yo, head to my house. So basically what the easiest way for me to do this is for you to get to a house and for me to simply visit it. And maybe I'll, I'll pick a house or two every uh, server. Call it done. Cool tent. Well, I would love to do that, uh, Devilene. Sounds good. <laughs> I agree we need a snake in the can item. I totally love this idea. All right. Pretty nice looking house. Let me uh, get, get him a code. Checking out people's homes. Seeing if I got any other in-game chats I but need to answer. Nice. I'll look around a little more. Some nice trophies and all. <laughs> that tentacle suite. Mirror of Mordreth. Will there be an option at some point to transfer characters off a legendary server? I am going to say potentially, but if we ever did do something like that, it would not happen until after the legendary worlds have caught up with the regular game worlds. Um, so it would be um, probably not until there was some level of parity between the two. Or at least pretty darn close to it, as it were. Let's see how far this jetpack will take me, huh? All right. Oh, I don't have a jetpack on this server. That's true, there is another Dwinstrel on uh, and let me just go. 51. All right, let me uh, let me actually just do a one quick thing. Let me just go to play out of this cable. <laughs> nice. Uh, head out of that world there. So the basic idea of restricting transfers off legendary worlds is really to. I don't know, I guess I would need to think of a better answer for that one than what I've got. Um, what I guess what I would just say is that it was a, a design decision to fit with the theme, philosophy, and kind of gameplay of the legendary worlds.
Yes, Lotrovids. We are aware of a change in morale to instance mobs in Moria in 23.5. We will be looking into it. Now it's time for Arkenstone. Yeah, probably. I'll probably head to Arkenstone here in just a couple of minutes after after taking a, a break and what have you. Um, see what we can do. I'll probably bop around the office. I'll see if I can get... Well, I'll check in with Keyway, see where they are on this. Um, morale issue. What constitutes a legendary server? That you can find out more at lotro.com slash legendary. Uh, but it's Honor and Ithel. All right, last call on that 100 uh, Lotro Point Twitch giveaway. We will keep that going for another 15 seconds or so and then uh, pick our winner. All right, Keeper Elos, congratulations, Keeper Elos. All right, that's set. Uh, I guess I this is probably about as good a, a place as any then to take a little bit of a, another five-minute break or so. I'm going to ask a few questions. I'll be back, uh, and when I come back, I'll probably be on Arkenstone. What I'll do is I'll maybe even be there a little bit longer. We'll see, because I want to do a in-game giveaway. I want to check out the PVMP to say to, to troll slash be trolled by the Arkenstone PVMP folks. And then I'll uh, uh, try to head to a few houses as well. So, anyway, I'll be back in just a few minutes here with more of the 12th anniversary live stream on Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook. Back in a bit.
All right, here we go. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the 12th anniversary live stream here on twitch.tv slash LotroStream, youtube.com slash Lord of the Rings slash live and facebook.com slash Lotro. I'm Lotro's community manager, Cordovan, and I'm going to be here till midnight. Going to the different game worlds, dropping some stuff, spawning some monsters, having some fun. Uh, do a little bit of Q&A probably throughout the afternoon. Not a whole lot. Uh, the team is a little on the busy side and doesn't have a ton of time for me today. But we're going to carve out what I can and uh, do some Q&A. We'll probably have Sev stop by sometime between 4 and 4.30 today. And we're doing some giveaways in Twitch chat as well. As a matter of fact, let's uh, do another one here. All right, uh, this time, let me see what I can give away. I can... How about a Steve? Oh. I think this is the correct one to use. I'm gonna give away a Steve to the White City. Uh, Steed of the White City here, and we'll do it in about 20 minutes or something like that. So, in the meantime, while that's coming in, let me head on over to the game. I'm going to be logging into Arkenstone here. Sorry, I did not have time to, to touch with base with Kiwi. They were in a meeting. Um, so this is going to have to wait till the next time I get a chance. People still play this game. Yes. I also hear there that cats want to play the game, but they don't have opposable thumbs. Sir, way to rewind the stream. Uh, not while you're actively watching it that I'm aware of, but if you, it will be archived, and so you can get back to that afterwards. Uh, that'll be archived on Twitch and YouTube, and then Facebook is just in the videos and all that sort of thing. So, all right, let me do a couple of things here. Looks like I got the jetpack. How about? Let's see. <laughs> Forget the 64-bit client. We needed a, a cat client. Yeah, we sure do. Uh-huh. They would love that. Yeah, we, what? Okay, there we go. All right, cool. I'm uh, over on Arkenstone in Hobbiton. Seems like a pretty chill place and a place for starter folks to maybe uh, check out. When do we switch to a 64-bit client? Stay tuned. It should be pretty soon. Uh, the last word I've heard on the status of 64-bit, and maybe we'll have an update later today, that we can provide, but my, the last I've heard is that it's on the tail end of Palantir testing and will be soon heading to Bull Roar, but that has not been formally scheduled yet. I've only been streaming since noon, uh, Pal Palandor. I have to admit, I'm kind of, um, old. You just like 12 hour live streams and everything. I don't understand why people do it. <laughs> It's a lot. I actually think, uh, maybe this is rude. I actually think next year I'm going to be having my live stream times for these anniversaries for DDO and Lotro. Because 12 hours, it, it ends up just messing up my the whole rest of the week. Because I'm planning ahead of time and then afterwards 
I don't get in until late on Thursday, and that's our sales time and all that sort of thing, and it just... I think six hours is better for me. But we'll see. We'll see. You kids in your 24-hour live streams. Back in my day, we had to live stream uphill both ways. It's called a cassette tape, and you had to take a pencil. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, uh, sounds good. Uh, just uh, check and chat on housing and things like that. And like I say, I'll probably see about PVMP here in a bit. What if I can actually teleport in or if I need to go? Let me see. No, that's not going to be the right place. Sorry, messed that up. Let me do uh, at deep. That's why. Uh, okay, let me go back to Hobbiton. All right, let me drop a few. Little gifts and other fun things. Hey, Druid's Fire, how you doing? I see you in there. Uh, Neth Nethlinil. Heartfire. I do a couple of fireworks here. How about... Um, Get some eagle fireworks up in here. Um, there we go. Let me double check this, make sure it's safe to give out. Oh, that's the permanent. Oh, no, it isn't. It is a consumable. Cool. All right, good. Then I can uh, give this out. Oops. Back up the camera a smidge. Get some shots of this. Ah, cool. Glad. Glad you were able to get one tonight. <laughs> oh, you. what else can I do, sync stuff? Yeah, so I think the reality is... I have better stuff I can give away <laughs> on the other game that I do on Lotro. I would love, sometime I need to, to figure this one out and uh, figure out how to better, um, what other kind of new stuff I can give away. Because, yeah, it's a little, 
I agree, it's a little on the weak side. Actually, I do have something that I will be giving out soon. Um, I, you know, maybe this... I guess this is news. But thankfully, a member of the team made up some titles here for update 23.45 that I'll be using for future community events like Weatherstock, Winterstock, the Harnkegger Games, um, and any other kind of big events that might take place. I've got some titles that I can use um, in the future. Now, I can't give them out right now because I don't have um, the proper thing I need to be able to make codes against it yet. Um, at least I don't think so. But I can tell you a little bit about what I'm getting, uh, which would be an event organizer, event winner, event musician beforehand, event musician afterwards, uh, spectator, artist, uh, pre and post, event info giver, um, sort of a information attendant, uh, concert attendee, event viewer, musician, a speaker for the musicians, like a uh, MC or something like that, uh, performer, audience, horn kegger, and art lover. And all those are going to be new titles that will be coming to the game as, uh, as soon as we can really make codes against them and, and call it done. So, And let me double check one other thing here before I take off. Or not take off, but um. I don't understand why I don't have my well meant titles. I don't know what I did with them. I should be able to find them. Uh, let me try one other place to look. Ah, here we go. Sweet. There they are. Oh, well, those are in-game codes, not... Or out-of-game codes. All right, so how about... Let's say welcome... Let us do a, we've got Arkenstone here. We should be able to handle just about anything people want to, I could throw at them. <laughs> That's pretty great. Wow, man, you guys took care of that like nothing. What? Dang. All right, well, let's see about... This guy. Uh, Gorthrun should be pretty easy. Dang, they even took that one out. All right, well, let's see. How about... A bunch of these things. Let's see how this goes.
Uh, there isn't a schedule per se. What I'll be doing is um, going uh, largely alphabetically through the worlds, although I'm starting with Arkenstone here. I will probably skip ahead some of the European servers. Uh, well, probably in a little bit here, actually, just so that I hit their prime time. And then I'll go back to the U.S. servers as well. Yeah, a quick note that we do have a raffle going on our Twitch chat. I'm going to be giving away a Steed of the White City code. And uh, a couple minutes left to enter that. You can type exclamation point raffle if you want in. How about... Let's see about this troll. it all right you're right i do need uh i need to get some tougher things here not too surprised that arkenstone would uh be able to dish out just about everything i could throw at them <laughs> Pretty cool. Do a couple more pets that things are starting to kind of bog down a little bit. So let me uh, take a look. Around to the pets, though.
Oops. Oops. When I'm just doing letters like that, it's because I screwed up the uh, callback command. Sure, Enderhelm. I will do that. Let me call up a place to put this stuff. Okay, let me touch base with Druid's Fire here again, making sure that'll work. Send Yiki. Okay, yeah, I can. I'll make sure to do that probably off stream if not here. Okay, that's Laurelin. Arenia. Langerval. Lagros. All right, well, well, I'll head to that in just a second here. So instead, I'm going to do that. You should burg a group with us. <laughs> Login creep. Well, we'll see what I can do here. And I'll, I'll see what I can do. There we go. Good enough. I will actually do a more formal PV MP session with everybody here, but I'm just kind of, you know, doing the thing. There we go. Uh, there you are, Yiki. How's it going? Now, you wanted a ghost bear. I can't get that to you in PvMP, though. So, just so you guys know, I can't die. So, you know, I'm just saying. I keep on forgetting to turn off hints on all my every time I create a new character. Kind of wish I could just permanently do that. Where's the hints? Come on, where's the? So how about, can I do this? Let's see.
<laughs> I want... Oh, no, it will spawn. Oh, it just dies right away. Okay. Um, let's see about this one. How about... Let's see if this will work. <laughs> Marthiel can't die. Let's see how many arrows we can get in there. Oh, are they just not going to attack? Or... They're going to hang around anyway, I guess. One of them can. Can't, monster players can't use the jetpack. Hey, I can, that's a good point. I can, I should be able to spawn those consumables, which are uh, maybe common elsewhere, but is not common in PVMP, I think. I don't actually know that they can use any of this stuff, but I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Take you to Bree. No. I know you would love it.
<laughs> People are just like, too free, too free. <laughs> Map you to the party tree. No, I will not be doing that either. All right. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is an actual PVMP because, you know, whatever. Can I shrink? <laughs> no, the PVMP guys won't uh, shrink or grow either. Try this. Nope, unfortunately. Let's see. See how quickly I can do this. Upgrade your stats for an hour. No. I will not be doing that.
All right, let me uh, head on over to chat. Ah, cool. Looks like uh, Lobi might be working on Legendary now. Uh, let me check my email here in just a second. Uh, also, I'm going to call it on the raffle for a Steed of the White City giveaway while I do this. So let me go ahead and... Um, give you one last second to do the raffle. And then I will close it out and give that away. Uh, also... Let me double check the forms, making sure things aren't crazy. Check my email here quick, make sure things aren't crazy. Yes, uh, Legendary World's Anniversary Scavenger Hunt quest, quest issue. This work has been completed and verified that the Scavenger Hunt event is now available. Jerry, please feel free to message this change. Uh, so, yes. It's now working. And I will do that in just a second here. All right, cool. Glad that's done. Let me do this raffle. All right. Earbold, congrats, Earbold. That is done. Are you only visiting the monsters in Arkansas? No, I'm just heading to, to Freepside now. So I'm not quite sure what uh, that particular question is. Is this being streamed elsewhere besides Facebook? Indeed it is. Sorry you're having trouble, Diego. Looks like I'm caught up on short bars. Hold up here. Too many windows on my computer. All right. Give out a few things to the freeps. Well, I'm already back here. That's all it is. And in just a minute, I'm going to hit up a couple of houses. And then I think this time is just kind of zooming on by, isn't it? I'm going to uh, uh, pop over and see if I can get someone in the studio. So it's not just little old me all day. All right, so let me double check my chat here real quick. And go to this house. Check out my house. I've been decorating like crazy. Okay. Second. 
Cool. And I'll teleport him there. There we go. Looking nice, Fall Three Homesteads. Decorating like crazy. Someone was saying summer welcome mat I see, that's cool. Gondorian couch. Let me actually clear. want to leave the names off. That's okay. <laughs> Can't believe we were able to give out a Palantir for housing. It's pretty great. Sure, man. I'll get you a trophy. All right. Let me uh, figure out the heck of it. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right. Now, did I have another one on Arkenstone? Arena, yes. I've got a request to go there, so let's check this out. Check out this house. It's a kinship house, that sounds great. No, you, where did you go? There you are. This is gonna work. There we go. <laughs> That's nothing. <laughs> All right. I'll get rid of Gollum.
How did the kilt thing go? It went good. If you want to watch like 40 hours of it, you can. Uh, no major announcements planned today, Pelindor. Uh, sorry about that. It's just uh, kind of the way it's it's working out. Don't have a huge amount of, of new stuff to talk about here, but for dude, it was seventy nine hours. Nice. I will I will try to to pop over to PVMP elsewhere when I can. I can't make everyone's kin house, so I'm just going to kind of have to pick a few that I I happen to, to get at the time and then call it done, so. Where are you, meow? I'm going to give you another minute, and then you got to get there. Okay, here we go. An autumn welcome mat here. Happy 12th anniversary. Uh, thank you so much, Carolyn. That's very nice. Very festive. <laughs> nice. Oh man, I want that for my kin house. I didn't realize I could do that. It's a lot of meat for one halfling. Not halfling, hobbit. <laughs> it's pretty great. All right. Well, very cool. Let me uh, let me pop over and get you that code thing. getting a lot of tells of people trying to get to their house. I could spend all day on Arkenstone alone doing this. Plus, I'm not here to, to visit a million houses. I like this one, though. I, it's done very nicely. Let me let me pop over to uh, the third one that was in line. Um, and that would be... Yuki, radio. Yep. Now, Aridia has been dying to get a ghost bear and can never seem to get one. So let me take care of this right now. This 
This poor person has been at a lot of the events and keeps on getting skunked. nice. I like it a lot. Very doomish. Love the kind of art deco. I love that green art deco on the wall. That's a personal favorite of mine as well. Head through my chat and see what we got. Missed the best part of my hammock. Oh no. Uh, not sure if that helps. She'll go. Oops. Cool. Even better if you can get the slash look for me. <laughs> that really makes it easy. This is very nice. I like it. I like it a lot. I have to admit, a little on the barren side inside. Not quite sure. Or maybe it's just because I was in the wrong instance or something. Oh no, it's for sale. Oh. All right. Oh, it's still rendering. Okay. this will work. There we go. Oh wow, okay. It's probably an instance thing because I was kind of using some cheaty commands to, to get in. This is full. Yeah, it looks great.
Very cool. have time for one more home and I have this person who's very very emphatically wanting me to uh, stop by uh, to check out the work they've done so let me uh, let me go ahead and do that see if I can get that done and then we'll probably ooh no those doors to Mordor. That is very cool. Oh, that's super cool. Yeah, it did. This is one nice looking house. I love this entrance way. I really do. There we go. All right, so it's uh, three o'clock here. I'm gonna take another little break here in just a second. I'll uh, maybe try to follow up on uh, something here if I can real quick. Take a quick swing through the forums. Make sure to get um, a social media message out about the legendary server so that other folks who aren't sitting here watching this can can figure out that we fixed the issue on Honor and Ithil. So let's say give me 10 minutes here to kind of um, uh, get all that done. And I may just join you a little bit as well and just kind of do some of that work on camera as it were. But, uh, but I do have a little bit of stuff here to do, so let me uh, call that done. And I'll be back in 10. Thank you very much for watching.
Indeed. All right. Uh, hello, everybody, and uh, welcome to the 12th anniversary live stream here on twitch.tv slash LotroStream, youtube.com slash Lord of the Rings slash live, and facebook.com slash Lotro. I'm Lotro's community manager, Cordovan, and we're going to be here for oh, all the way clear through till midnight. I'm going to make all 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 oh, that way. All three of them stay till midnight. I hope you're hope you're ready. Uh, we're going to do nine hours of Q&A, uh, one question every 10 seconds. No, uh, nonetheless, we do have some fine folks here to say hello for our 12th anniversary. So, uh, hello, everybody. Uh, introduce yourself so I can do a name with a voice. Okay, I'm uh, Made of Lions, Jeff Libby. I'm Bacata. And I'm Ryan on Pinion. All right, and uh, one of the things we wanted to do here, let me actually turn you up just a little bit, I think. Uh, one of the things I wanted to do here is actually just talk a little bit about this new 12th anniversary event. So the anniversary event just kicked off yesterday, and uh, people are, are really kind of getting into it now. And there's a 12th year that is perhaps a little different than what we've done in previous iterations. So what's up? Yeah, so we have been doing the, the anniversary event for couple years now I guess and the uh, the the scavenger hunt was was the the thing where you you went all around Middle Earth and you picked up what was it it was trifles and travels and remembrances Re and faced off against old enemies and, and things like that and you had to you had to like hug bosses and in instances and things like uh, but at a certain point I we started feeling that it was a lot of gameplay, a lot of um, good memories and things, but wouldn't it be nice if it had a a story component to it? If it if it just if it didn't go forever, but it had a kind of a a, a reason beyond just the gameplay reason. Plus, uh, eleven is a good number. Yeah, for, for years. For, yeah, especially so, for for Locher here. Right? Very auspicious yeah. Middle Earth number. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and so we sat down and we started thinking about, well, what would we have done for a twelfth, uh, for a twelfth year if we were keeping the old, the original style of what are these scavenger hunts doing? Because each each year was was sort of associated with a different character, and we had used most of the characters that we we had, we had a few. I don't remember what were some of the other. Uh, we had the the whole fellowship, and I think Bilbo, and was it Gandalf or was it Gollum? Gollum, I Gollum that's right. Um, nice. So instead of instead of coming up with another character, which I I I want to say it maybe would have been Elrond, <laughs> which it probably would have just been like, hey, visit yeah. the library a million I think times. We were thinking Elrond or Gladril. Yeah. I'm sorry to say, we already do that quite a bit. Yeah, that's we've got that covered. Um, the uh, so then the idea came around that what if we for the story, what if we reveal who has been behind the scenes like setting up this scavenger hunt because all of these cards didn't come from nowhere so we came up with a story uh as to who has been doing this and i think it's a fairly surprising culprit but more importantly it let me work in a really silly joke uh at the uh at the very end of this quest nice it, the uh and also <laughs> Because I sometimes lurk on streams without signing in, I watched the Duero Scholar yesterday play through this quest, the Mastermind's Minion, and he didn't read the closing text, so he missed my hilarious joke. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> nice. So maybe on another character, check that out and see my funny joke. Um, <laughs> so what do you see as maybe being some – I mean – the anniversary event will be coming back in future years, but we're kind of taking a pause on some of the content creation that's been associated with it historically, which gives you an opportunity to do something new in the future here, perhaps. I well, know we're not really, we're not, I don't even think we know what we're doing yet, but even if we did, I don't know that we'd say it, but, but do you have any thoughts, I guess, about what you, what, what's in your head, what you might want to do? The, uh, well, we've, for the last, for the last, I guess this goes back a year or so. Yeah, Oh, um, just that we changed over from the old anniversary to the new scavenger hunt. Type yeah, thing and that was for the tenth. So, so that, that would have been that kind yeah. of refreshed what the event was up yeah. to that point. So yep. it's possible we can always refresh it in a different way going forward. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Also, one thing that I've that I kind of like a lot that we've been doing recently is adding short, repeatable story arcs mm -hmm. to festivals like mm -hmm. uh, the frightful stories to curl the hair on your toes and eerie acres mm -hmm. and the uh, born aloft in springtime uh, sunflower quest uh, was a new thing. So like we'll probably as we come up with with uh, new stories to put into old festivals. Yep. Um, that might be a, a thing we could do too. Yeah, there was a thing, I guess it was on maybe Massively OP, where one of their bloggers ranked all of our festivals from, in their opinion, best to worst, you know. Although I don't think they used the word worst. I think they said maybe most in need of additional work. And, and I'm <laughs> Best not, to bestest. Yeah, well, I'm not sure that we would necessarily entirely disagree with that. I think we, we have an understanding that some of the festivals probably could use a refresh as well. And maybe perhaps that's something we could do in the future, so... I, at the very least, I I know you probably have some more stories you want to tell on there. I, so. yeah. yeah, it's it's yeah. the kind of thing that that happens a yeah. lot. Uh, I'm a little busy this year now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, yeah, go go figure. Um, so so what? Right now, all three of you are basically knee deep in U24. Is that right? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. No. 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 I'm on a thing after that. Oh, you are. Uh, for the yeah. most part. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, I guess to the extent that you can talk about it, what are a couple of the things you've been working on lately? Do you have any highlights? I'm trying yeah. to think. Yeah. You, to all right. Tim, yeah. you got any highlights? Yeah, sure. Um, I've been working on this thing on the side for a while, and it's finally getting released for uh, U24. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it has to do with Radagast. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think I know what that one is. Yeah. I don't think we'll say more, but that's not. Any other names you want to drop? Oh yeah, name? I just want to give a shout out to all my friends out there who love Binbol Kid. Binbol Kid. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, there's some cool stuff in general about the Gladden fields in this update, but there's oh, cool. there's so much about that that I don't want to spoil. Yeah, yeah. So. I'll just say that we go there. One of the challenges great. we've run into is, unlike when we were getting ready for more or for the 10th anniversary or whatever it is that we did last year at this time, <laughs> I can't even remember now. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I, th this anniversary event kind of is falling right between sort of big announcements because we haven't really started previewing Update 24 on Bull Roar yet or anything like that. And so it's, it's kind of just on the cusp of really being able to talk a lot more about what's going on. Well, um, I was working on the the Spring Festival quest with the Sunflowers and this anniversary quest, Mastermind's Minion, right around the the beginning of the year. So mm -hmm. the the dead of winter, pretty much. Um, trying to think about flowers and and anniversary party party times. So since then, I've been on on other things. But the I don't I don't think we can spoil much. No. Uh, but we. But like Gladden Fields yeah. is exciting, and the uh, and where it will be in like the Beorning lands, so lots of like Beorning stuff, including an interior to Grim Beorn's Lodge. Oh, yeah. I don't think that's a, a too bad a spoiler. No, no, that's so, pretty cool to finally be able to go in there. Oh, and um, it'll be the first time we see actual uh, woodman culture. Oh, we, cool. we introduced them ages ago in the, the first Great River update. Um, the first update that had to deal with like the Anduin in particular, yeah. just as like a little side faction in the Rush Gore, but yeah. now we're gonna actually see like the heart of their their civilization Sweet. in the Vales. Sweet. And the only other thing I want to say about uh, plans for this year is that they are ambitious. <laughs> they <I know>. <laughs> are ambitious, <laughs> which is part of the reason why, for example, I, I know you know in the last twenty four hours, some people have said, "Where's the steed this time?" And and you know we're sorry about that. That is kind of part of what we're talking about here. We've got a lot on our plate, and so we had to had to make some tough choices there. But uh, it, yeah, we've got a lot to work on. So yep, yeah. Uh, I don't know anything else you want to really mention here. I'll, I someone saying, "Are we ever going to see a Bingo Boffin Part 2? <laughs> I get this question every time yes. I show up. Yeah. Um, the uh, currently too busy, but I, I I love Bingo. I mean, you know, I I sneak him into things all the time. Like he wasn't like Erie Acres turned out to be a Bingo thing. I'm sure there could be more Bingo things in the future. So, Cord, ask Pinion if he will return to raid developing this year. Yeah, yeah, I will. Yeah. It, it, it's it, happening. It's for, it's for <laughs> it would be for Minas Morgul, probably. Right? Yes, yeah, it, yeah. it would be yeah. for uh, Minas Morgul. Yeah. And uh, there's some 
some enemies there that you yeah. uh, you might have an idea who that could be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Throne of the Web Terror. <laughs> Frodo Samwise PvP. I'm kidding. You got anything? Yeah. Anything else? About what? No, oh, anything yeah. else you want to mention here before I let you go? Oh. I mean, are there any, like, are there any like content specific questions that people have? Well, let me see. Regarding epic story, will we ever find out what happened to Korudan? I'm pretty sure we've answered that one before too, haven't we? Uh, we haven't said what happened to Korudan, but I haven't forgotten. All right. I mean, like we might get there. How long do we have before we nerf the burglar? I love killing things with one attack. Uh, if if that's really the case, we may probably sooner rather than later might be my answer to that one. Uh, we did do a bunch of burglar changes uh, for this week's patch, and if we need to make some further changes, kind of kind of rebalance it and find put in where we want it to be, we'll do that. So, oh, uh, Shmalkus or Shomkus, uh, what's the reasoning behind the morale changes with today's patch? I actually got an answer to that during the break. Uh, after I'm done talking to these folks here, let me let me answer that question for you. Um, are we getting a land path between Lorien and the Vales? Do you know? That's probably a world question. Oh no, we are. Okay, we are. Okay. Um, so the Vales will be accessible from three locations. The first is uh, Lorien to the southern end of the Vales, um, from the Misty Mountain High Pass to the what? The west, the I western, the in the western yeah. side of the Vales, and. Um, from northern Mirkwood on the western side of Aaron Lascalen, you'll be able to access the Bjorning lands. Sweet. So you can go all over the place. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I have a thing too. Yeah. I have a thing. Um, and when when uh, <clears throat> when it releases and there's more Black Book of Mordor, mm. um, we have unfinished business in the Grey Mountains. So. Uh, if you are playing the Black Book of Mordor, I encourage you to resume it uh, in the Grey Mountains before you excitedly hurry off to the Vales, and trust me that it will take you there. Um, okay. Cool. That's my tip. That's my pro tip. All right. Nice. Nice. Very good. And if you haven't finished the raid in regard to the Black Book, um, you will not miss out on story, but... It is recommended that you do at least try the Anvil Raid on Tier 1. Nice. Um, I'm just saying housing question. I can't really answer that. Will we ever get more hooks for housing? I'm sure it's something we'd like to do. I imagine it's an engineering question. Uh, can Caverns of Thrumfall be made more melee friendly? Anyone have an opinion on that? Um, I don't know if I have an opinion, but... <laughs> okay. Uh, opinion. Yeah, we have opinion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Well, right. Yeah. We'll we'll look into it at some point. Sure. All right. I think that's probably going to be it. Thanks very much for stopping by. Sure. I really appreciate it. Bye. All right. Happy have anniversary. Fun, Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Yep. Uh, by the way, I know that there's a black background here. For whatever reason, when I came back from my uh, break here. There must have been a blip in the server I'm using to grab these art assets, and so all my gra background images disappeared. I don't know what happened to that. I think I'm going to have to kill the stream and re-add it, maybe. Because it's there, it just won't show up. I don't know. I think I'm going to have to do that. Okay, so I am briefly going to kill the stream... And uh, then I'm going to restart it, and hopefully this will solve my problems. I'll be back in just a minute.